Welcome to this edition of Get to Know Your Wayne State Football Team for 2018. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss and joined today by Head Coach Paul Winters. Paul, today we're going to talk about running backs. I always like that. I, I figured being a running go. back yourself. Yeah. Well, let's start off with our Deontay Nicholas and Demetrius Stinson, two of our literally all-league returnees. Yeah, Deontay Nicholas, he only in, ended up last year averaging 15 yards a carry, you know. <laughs> um, so we probably need to give him the ball more. Uh, outstanding speed, um, great instincts, uh, knows when to lean. He's, he's, he's a complete running back, even though he's not a bigger running back. He's, he's got great talent. And he can also catch the ball out of the backfield. Excellent receiver out of the backfield. Um, average only 10 yards a catch, so he's a better runner than a receiver, <laughs> apparently. But um, part of that is we just have to use him right. Mm -hmm. Demetrius Stinson, the last three years, has really you know come on strong for the Warriors and stayed healthy all of last year, which was the key for Wayne State. Yeah, Demetrius had a great year. He was um, he was physical. He had the, the right instincts. He broke long runs. I think he had two fourth down 50-yard touchdowns, you know. Um, so he was he was big time for us. So we're really looking forward to his senior year. He's the hardest working kid you've ever been around, and, um, you know, he's prepared. Two other guys who got to see some playing time at the end of the year, but also on special teams, James Hill and Deontay Moffitt. What do you expect from those two this year? Um, I expect great things. They're, they're both going to be juniors now, um, so they're a little bit older. They've got a little bit of experience. James Hill, you're talking about a good kid who's six foot two, six three, two hundred 230 pound tailback. Um, he's devastating when he wants to be, and uh, I thought this spring he turned it on and really made great strides. So I'm looking forward to to watching what he does. And Deontay Moffitt, he's a guy that. I think as a redshirt freshman, ran over a couple linebackers in the league. So, um, you know, all those guys, all they really need is opportunity. Um, other young guys coming up, Dante McClure from Port Clinton, Ohio. Obviously, you've heard that he's pretty fast, but what do you expect from Dante this year? Yeah, Dante McClure, he's a guy that doesn't necessarily run a great 40, um, but he plays fast. He, he plays very fast. Um, we'll do a lot of things with him, moving him around, and um, he'll be in a lot of different positions. He's kind of kind of fits in the Deontay Nicholas role. Nick Isley redshirted last year, looking to get yeah. some playing time, maybe get on the bus this year, as they say. You know what? Uh, th there's another kid. You know, he was the anchor for the 4x100 um, state champs at senior year at Rockford, so he's pretty fast, <laughs> you know, and um, he's about six foot one, two or 6'2". 200 pounds, so he's multi-dimensional. He can catch the football, um, he can run through tackles, he can run away from people. Um, another guy that we're going to watch him grow up. Um, adding depth as if we needed more, a transfer from Central Michigan and Matt Kraus. Yeah, Matt Kraus is a young man that we recruited out of Lake Orion years ago, I think the year before Corey Esker. Um, and he, or after Corey Esker, I'm not even sure anymore. But he, he, he went and, and went to Central Michigan and came back this year and, and you know he's a he's a young man who's big and physical probably 215 pound tailback that kind of has all the abilities so we're anxious to see how he fits in sounds like it's going to be an interesting challenge for the offensive coordinator to find touches for all these guys and all yeah. their capabilities I pity that guy <laughs> <laughs> obviously you can't talk running backs without talking to the fullbacks, and you start with Steven Sharon there. Yeah, you know what, it, it's, there's a guy who never gets enough credit. He's so good. Um, he's 250 pounds, um, squats the entire building, uh, runs 4-5, uh, just, just an incredible package of, of strength and speed that really, um, I probably haven't done him justice, should probably be a tailback. Um, because of that kind of ability that he has. Now, I don't think a lot of people would be happy if he's playing tailback <laughs> running the ball downhill. But he's a great blocker. Um, you watch him on tape, and he finishes blocks extremely well. So um, the, the position, you know, with he and Randy Garvin. Who moved um, there I'm, last year from linebacker. Yeah, right. We moved Randy from linebacker, and he was a natural. Um, he was injured last year, too. Um, but getting him back is, is going to be a big deal for us. So... Um, the fullback position is well stocked as well.